It's called You Can Be Me in Act 3. Act 1. I remember play. Dodgeball, hopscotch, wholesome. The innocence before the storm of context. I remember play. I'd be the villain, you'd be the hero, then we'd get our scrapes bandaged and kissed and put the toys away. I remember play that involved pretending we were older. Miss Mary Mack and Polly Pocket, a sweater tied around my waist in case it got colder. I remember play. I can't recall if it ended. Was it abrupt? Is it simply suspended? Did I enjoy play enough while it was around? Did play keep my eyes too long on the sun or on the ground? Act two. I remember play because I see it now. It's just not as fun when the pretend truth into lies after the play is done. I remember play. And with hindsight, there's joy in transparency. To see the strings my little mind didn't care to see, and perhaps unfortunately, now the masks are our faces that we can't take off, just cover up with different costumes appropriate for different places. Act three. I remember play. Both contrived and creative, constructing and following clues. Unorthodox, off the guard, changing roles like shoes, I remember play. And I still take off my boots all the time, shifting soles, perhaps to a fault. And you're always welcome to wear them. I'd love to try yours on, even if they don't fit. I promise to take care of them. We'll pretend this stage is a mile, stretches as far as the eye can see, and remember how to play. I'll be you, and you can be me. Please.